Excuse me, buddy. You forgot to tell me your name and badge number. Hey, buddy. Hey. Did they kidnap her? Hey, ba name and badge number? Hey, everybody. So it's a demo here. We're out at Beaver Creek. Across the street is the Walmart where John Crawford was murdered by the Beaver Creek police. We've got a handful of people out here. And uh, we're just trying to show support and make sure that the uh, story of John Crawford doesn't so die. So what happened just now? Um, I was detained by the Beaver Creek Police Department right there in that Walmart. What did you do? Did you break the law? No, I just walked in there. You walked into Walmart and you were detained for that? Yes. I, um... Here. Ma'am, you. Go up here. You guys identification with you? Um, I have my military retired ID. You have a driver's license? She being detained? You don't have to talk to them. Oh, Come over I here just... to this police cruiser. Why? Come over here to this police cruiser. Is she being detained? Let's go. I'd ask them that. Ask if you're being arrested? detained. If you don't, yes. Why is she be arrested? For what? <clears throat> What's your name and badge number, sir? Todd. Yes, sir. She's going. Okay. Cross passing. Cross passing. Give me just a minute. Okay. Step I was over here. I, and I wasn't. All I was doing. You're going to. You're going to get a summons if you refuse to. All I'm saying is that all I did was they Stand wanted to see point. where the person got shot. All I did was walk in there. I didn't scream anything. Okay. You can explain all that to him. He's going to talk okay. to you tomorrow. I didn't over scream here. anything or do anything. So are you in like the habit of using centralized violence against people? Do you like that? This is why we're protesting at Walmart because this is Walmart for security and local security. Walmart is security. Go ahead and remove your hands from your pocket. You were actually packing up your Nothing in your pocket. At this point, this looks really bad for your store. Watch the cones if you want. Push the cones on the other side, all right? We're actually interviewing the officer. We're not permitted to videotape or record anything on Walmart property without prior approval. Sorry, Derek. Give me a couple minutes and then I'll deal with what you told me about, all right? You are not permitted to record or photograph on Walmart property without prior approval from Home Office. So does that supersede the Constitution where I get to film public officials in the course of their duties? This is private property. Does private property supersede the Constitution where I get so to film? So you are not permitted to record or photograph on Walmart private that's property. A, that's a really actually... Well, I'm saying these are public officials that are on your property and I have a right as actually, a taxpayer to film them. These so does your... You're, what you're stating supersede that? This is public property and you're not permitted to... So you're just going to repeat the same sentence because, because you don't have any property. actual thought of your own. Property. Is that what you're saying? Property. This is private property. You're not permitted to report or okay. I'm, I'm not denying on whether or not this is or isn't private property. I'm asking you if I'm allowed to film public officials as a journalist because that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to keep doing that. I'll deal with her there and we'll get it done real quick. That's fine. You told her. How long is she banned for? Lifetime? Okay. Lifetime ban. You can never come back to Walmart again. That's fine. I get your name and badge number, sir? Not right now. Not now? A little later?
I have. Yeah, I'm a journalist trying to film public officials. All right. Excuse me, sir. Can I get your name and badge number? Officer Suki, badge number 75. Thanks. Excuse me, buddy. You forgot to tell me your name and badge number. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. Hey, ba name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? He's a supervisor. He's got a, he's got a supervisor, supervisor of some sort. The other guy had no problem telling me his name. You must be ashamed of yourself. Um, essentially, they banned me for life. Uh, Walmart, Sam's Club, any corporate Walmart. Now, you didn't film, correct? No, sir. You didn't yell anything, correct? No, sir. Now, when the officers came over, they did say that you were detained. We asked them to clarify. So it, you were officially detained, and yet they didn't charge you with anything. They didn't ticket you. So clearly, you didn't break the law. And they were going to try to charge me for, uh, with trespassing, but it wouldn't stick. So. Yeah, this is this is very strange. So for those out there watching this, who wonder to themselves, why are people protesting outside of Walmart? Walmart, they're just innocent victims in all of this. The Beaver Creek Police are the only ones to blame. Uh, and so, you know, why aren't you just protesting the Beaver Creek Police? And why is this outside of Walmart? It's because Walmart has been complicit in covering up and colluding with the Beaver Creek Police. From day one, they concealed the tape of John Crawford's murder to try to let public anger dissipate before they finally released it. And even now, they're suppressing dissent, they're suppressing protest. This woman simply went into the store. She was never told not to be on this property. She did not break any law. Uh, you know, even if she had been filming and they told her to leave, that would be completely illegal as long as she complied. She did comply when they told her to leave, even though she had not been doing anything wrong. And yet she was threatened, intimidated by men open carrying guns with badges um, who, who have a record of violence against members of the community. And this is why Walmart, this is why on the first Sunday of every month in cities, more than half a dozen cities across the country and more growing every month, we're protesting outside of Walmart. Thank you very much. Don't shoot. <laughs> yeah.